So in this video, he had another seizure and this time he had the seizure in front of her children. So again, two of the, the children are biologically hers. They're his stepdaughters. Comment below and tell me how you as a woman would feel about making a 21 or 22 year old man a stepfather to your kids, but okay. Um, and so her daughter calls her panicking because he's had a seizure in front of them and she's like in hysterics. So this is the next video you're going to be seeing. Oh my God. Oh my God. I, I know. I know. I know. I see it. I know. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just going to come home. It's okay. Just, it's okay. Just make sure he doesn't fall off the bed. I'm coming home. Get the confused with the clip at the beginning of the video that woman is andrea mccray i'm not sure if you guys heard about andrea mccray and marvin mccray husband and wife um this is a white woman that's married to this black man and the whole issue with with their situation is she makes it seem like her and her husband have these uh physical issues physical problems where they need drugs um specifically kratom to heal the not not exactly cure but like heal these uh problems that they have um and kratom is an herb that is southeast of asia and there are alkaloids in it you have metrogenine and seven hydrox hydroxymetrogenine um and i'm not sure if you've heard of kratom kratom isn't approved by the FDA so that's why you don't hear about it because it's it can cause comas and possibly death and her husband was put in a coma because her wife his wife was giving him kratom um and she's a like a Facebook influencer where she she sold jewelry and her family came up eventually and then she's like okay I'm gonna go into the drug world or like herbal drugs and try to get people to be attracted to this and buy it from me and it's clearly been working because um i don't know if you've seen her instagram lives where she talks about this kratom and she says that oh it causes seizures but it helps my earth my fibromyalgia or whatever her issues are arthritis whatever it's called and her followers are like oh wow this is this seems pretty interesting. She it clearly seems like it works because she's saying something and someone else says something about it. Oh, it says that Kratom causes seizures. She said it herself. That should have been a red flag right there. Not to choose to use that drug either. I'm not sure if they actually did, but it seems like they were interested in it because she was. And her husband was put in a coma. Uh, he's been in a coma since uh, May 23rd. And he recently died, actually, um, because he kept having seizures back to back. I think like eight seizures a day. And she kept giving her husband Kratom. He used to be an extremely muscular man. Or at least, you know, he had enough muscle mass where he didn't look anorexic. And uh, Andrea used to be a little thick, too. And they, they went on these herbal, um, I mean, holistic diets where they're like cutting meat out of their diet or whatever and you're seeing a drastic change and she's just showing the uh, surface superficial part she's not sh going deep she's not saying what's really going on behind closed doors um and she's making it seem like she's not the one causing his seizures when if you look it up yourself it says kratom causes seizures and comas and what happened to marvin he ended up in a coma and had seizures and died and she's it's it, what is it called 
Munchausen, Munchausen by proxy. This is a case of Munchausen by proxy because Andrea is making it seem like her husband has all of these physical issues, making it a problem, showing it to the public. They believe what they believe what they're seeing because that's what she's showing you. And then it became into a real issue. And she doesn't want to own up to it, blaming it on the fact that he had seizures before already. Like, this was something that he was already dealing with. And I even have, I have the symptoms right here. Kratom causes weight loss, psychosis, and seizures. And I honestly feel like Andrea wasn't even taking this Kratom. Because if she was, she probably would have been having seizures too. And she probably would have ended up in a coma as well. But, and you know what's funny about this? It's not funny, but you get what I'm saying. You know what's interesting about this? Her husband is black. And this is an interracial relationship. And this is just going to get to my point in a minute. This is an interracial relationship. And honestly, it's domestic violence. It's not his fault that he was... No, it's not his fault that he was dealing with this white woman that just wanted to, I feel like she was trying to brainwash him and brainwash the public because she had so many followers, 600,000 plus, and she's getting money from this. So she's like, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, lying to these people so I can keep getting my money. Um, and she's been doing that for I don't know how long, honestly. You can look it up. But this is why... I have nothing against people that are into interracial relationships, but I wouldn't personally do it. This is my personal opinion. Everyone is entitled to their opinion, and I'm going to express mine. I do not believe in interracial relationship with white people, with Europeans, because this is this is a pattern. This is these are things that have been happening years and years back. And it's still happening in today's society where these black men get with these white women. They forget about, I'm not going to say forget, but they like kind of push the black queens to the side. And they decide to get a snow bunny. Europeans, I'm sorry. And they're all like in a trance. Like this is the best woman, best woman since sliced bread. And next thing you know, they're dead. What was that one? Um, Everett Jackson. Everett Jackson and his Mormon girlfriend. Uh, you have this situation, Marvin and Andrea. I mean, it, it, the list goes on. I mean, I can't name them right now, but I guarantee you, you it's there. It's always, it's always a black man dying being in an interracial relationship. I mean, that's not true. You can be with the same race as well. But from what I've seen, it's from white people. And... I really want our black brothers to understand that this, understand, understand, and understand that this is a crisis. This is a crisis to our black men today. You are, have you seen um, black men walking or killed while walking? Something like that. It's this documentary on how black boys get targeted because of being black just because of their skin tone and because they seem intimidating that's a mindset and this goes all the way back to slavery these men were these white karens uh slave owner wipes who also owned slaves brainwashed these black men to believe that being with a black woman the same sex is a sin it's not something that you want to do and that's not true and the fact that that was uh beaten into them it's like a recurring cycle which keeps happening today these black men keep going to these white women thinking that they're getting ready to be in a great relationship and it turns out to be domestic violence i mean honestly watch paris milan she speaks it's a whole three hour video on andrea mccray all the videos leading up to this man's death and i honestly feel so bad for his family like he i think he was 29 and after taking this drug kratom he looked like he was 80 i mean realistically 50 
and it was ridiculous they took other uh drugs as other whole holistic herbs um i forgot something else that she said on that video sunflower some sunflower stuff um and you can tell it doesn't seem like she's taking it she seems a-okay she seems perfectly fine and then in that video her husband was having a seizure in front of her kids like this is crazy this man woke up to this woman feeding him this kratom he did he even said it himself he didn't want to take the kratom she's like forcefully feeding it to him and then she records these videos basically saying oh no he he is saying that he wants to do it he he wants to do this he wants to be better when he was perfectly fine before he took the kratom anyway and then there was this portion where she said, uh, somebody on her live said, doesn't Kratom cause seizures? She's like, um, no, Kratom doesn't cause seizures. And you can see in his face where he's like, ma'am, you're lying. I've had seizures ever since I started taking this drug. But no, guess what he did? He defended her. He defended this woman knowing that he's in. Actually, he didn't. Know, but he was in this situation. I don't know why I didn't click in his brain yet. But he was in the situation where this woman was giving him these drugs and he's getting the side effects. And I'd be like, okay, this doesn't seem right. Why Why am I always so sick? Why am I drastically losing weight? Why do I look like I'm 50 years old? Why am I having seizures? I don't normally have seizures. I don't have a syndrome or anything that causes seizures, you know? Like, once again, I have nothing against people that are in interracial relationships. I just want you to be aware of what can happen. These white, these white European girls, they will flip the switch on you. They'll be all jolly and all nice with you in the beginning. But once it gets later on down the line and y'all end up in the bedroom, she can simply say, he raped me. And guess who they're going to believe? They're going to believe that white girl. The light-skinned, the white-skinned person. And thinking about the history of black men and everything that's been put on them, they're going to be like, this man is a threat. And we're going to lock him up. We're going to lock him up knowing that he probably didn't do it. But they're just going to do it to support, to make sure their people are good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting passionate. I'm getting passionate about this. Um, and that's why I'm sticking with my, bra my black brothers. Like, those... It's tunnel vision only for them. I need to make sure, I want to make sure that our people are good like i'm tired of dealing with this this is it's like it's never ending and i don't understand i'm i'm, I'm putting i really want to put there's so many people out there that are putting this mess out you guys need to watch 19 keys runaway slave dr umar i know it seems like dr umar isn't about like he's like one-minded but i get where he's coming from i get where he's coming from like this all lives matter stuff no no if if it was all lives matter why didn't y'all say that during slavery if all lives mattered then black folks wouldn't be dealing with what they're dealing with and the fact that when when black people say black lives matter and then these white folks say all lives matter they want to be put in the picture as well knowing darn well what they did is like can we have like our moment why do y'all need to be included in everything everything <sighs> everything europeans are involved in why can't black folks have their own thing not not fourth of july not christmas not halloween what other holiday is there um not saint patrick's day that's a whole that's like a catholic thing anyway hopefully you took hopefully this video gave you information like I said, watch Paris Milan. She talks on this a little deeper than I. My video was about interracial relationships. But I took this out just to give you guys a little snippet of, you know, okay, I see what she's saying. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I also sell bracelets. I sell Chris I make and sell crystal bracelets. I will have my email down below if you're interested. I also have a cash app if you want to support the channel. Hit the cash app, you know what I'm saying? And stay tuned for the next video. I'm sorry I haven't been posted lately, but it's just, uh, I just need some time, but, yeah.